There's an invasion underway. Our troops are in Iraq, in Afghanistan, and we are here shopping. We better have a good game plan for uh, going forward. Is the main mission of our troops the protection of our way of life? And is our way of life defined by consumerism? You never really know. And um, it's good to be fearful and to think about who you got in power. And if you trust them to, to shore up all the borders, put big fences around and really get together. And, you know, here's the thing. I know how to handle a gun. You said all was not right and then you said something's wrong. Just, it seems redundant. So I'll bet the CU LGBT Student Union is very thrilled that their EBC is in the club, huh? You know, we gotta understand, are they, are they for America or are they advocates for you know, the, the, the agenda of the GL, the BLT, the BLT with, um... T's for trannies. Trannies? Yeah, like Max. Transgender. Nuclear. Energy taxes. Taxes and energy... I've been living as a man, and soon I'm physically going to be one as well. I was born a girl, and I mean, I kind of, I still kind of have like a woman's body. I mean, even though I am a man. Oh, terrorist, terrorist, terrorist. Sexism and homophobia and you know, reproductive rights. Vice president. I know, Joe Biden. <laughs> Nuclear president. Transgender. <laughs> this is harder than Miss Alaska pageant. Oh. impose my religion on everyone. I am unapologetic in my feelings toward uh, transsexualism and the, the transsexual agenda. I do see God's creation and God's hand in this beautiful place that we call the United States of America. And I see that hand crushing the lesbians. It's not something I choose and it's not something I want to choose. People who have changed their sexes from male to female or from female to male. Barracudas, yes. Men, no. No, not for Sarah Palin. <laughs> no. I see it just crushing it down. Well, I did go to San Francisco to get top surgery. Yes, I am familiar with San Francisco, though, you know, it's only been about a year since I've had my uh, my U.S. passport. Uh, I do plan on visiting San Francisco, you know, checking things out there, maybe visiting a Starbucks. I decided not to go through with it. Well, those are the kind of choices that the American people are making. I thought a lot about it, and it's a really personal decision. And the fact is, is that you can lose sensation in your nipples, so I decided I don't want to risk that. I mean, for some Jesus. True. You know, I feel like we're getting a little off topic here for our chart. Why is it off topic? Well, I mean, our chart's for lesbians. I thought our chart was for everybody. Well, I'm not going to say put them all in jail. I mean, I certainly would never be for anything like that. However, I, I don't really see how uh, you, the word our really needs to inclusify um, everyone. <laughs> you know, when I ask her Dina, what is it that you do with your special friends? And she says, you know, Sarah, we lead a very vanilla lifestyle. Vanilla? Really? Vanilla? You know what I mean by vanilla? And I know vanilla. I know what that means. She may have chosen the homosexual lifestyle, but that's not something that I choose, nor is it something I am going to judge, even though I wonder what she it is not something that I'm going to judge. I don't judge anyone. I think, do, just, yes. Maybe, Sarah, they, they, they might have drops and downs. They might have drops and downs. 
No, Sarah Palin's child probably only is allowed to watch Jesus. Obviously, Jesus tapes about Jesus. This is a great responsibility, not only to be a mother, but almost to be, be the mother of the nation. <laughs>